It's a stairs maiden hurdle here at Ludlow. Three mile, two furlongs. One of the longest hurdle races you'll see all season. We've got Lord of the North. Three times runner-up so far for Joshua Sutherland and is going to go off a short price favourite to finally get that first one on the board. Mercury Rising, Craig Beckwith, Mighty Black, Graham Clutterbuck, Size and Blues, James Shea, Stroll Wigmore for James Shea. Completes your lineup of only five runners going to post here. So Joshua Sutherland's Lord of the North straight out in the early lead as the starter lets them go. And this horse second all three starts so far and looks to have found an ideal opportunity to get that first win on the board here for one of the top trainers in national hunt racing and Lord of the North is going to do it all from the front here as they come over that second flight of hurdles slightly awkward jump from Mighty Black towards the rear of the field for Graham Clutterbuck and Stroll Wigmore currently the back marker as they get over that next one Lord of the North didn't take off too far in front of the flight but the horse got over it well enough and is travelling really strongly in front but of course a modest pace being set as these horses have a full three mile two furlongs to travel here at Ludlow as they pass the stands but they'll have two circuits to go and they embark on the penultimate circuit here and start to turn right handed it's Lord of the North that has the lead in those familiar black and red hooped silks for Joshua Sutherland sizing blues sizing up that leader a couple of lengths behind it and just happy to sit off that pace there. The jockey just taking a tug of the reins there as they come to that next flight. Size in blues, the black horse in the dark green silks. One of two runners for James Shea here today. Mighty black in third for Graham Clutterbuck and Mercury Rising is racing towards the rear of the field. For Craig Beckwith alongside Stroll Wigmore, who is the back marker. So around two and a half furlongs left to travel here. It's still Lord of the North in the lead. By a few lengths to size in blues. Mighty Black in third as they come to that next flight. Mighty Black, terrible mistake from Mighty Black. And the jockey's done well to stay on that one, just ploughed through that. When you're going over those hurdles at such speed, the slightest of mistakes can put you out of the race. But Mighty Black managed to uh, keep the partnership intact there. Jockey and horse look okay, and they've settled back down there for Graham Clutterbuck, but he's not going to want to see any more of those errors. And a bad error from Mercury Rising there at the rear of the field. And that's allowed Mighty Black to just pass that one. So with such a menacing horse here at the front of the field, Lord of the North, the other horses are going to have to really make sure that they put in slicker rounds of jumping than they are to be able to challenge a short price favourite as they come to the next flight of hurdles. And the front three over it well enough and steady sh jumps at the back as well by Mighty Black and Mercury Rising. So look to have recovered from those early mistakes well enough as we're into the final two miles now. Uh, with around 10 flights of hurdles left to jump but it's still Lord of the North in the lead with a gap that uh, the horse has had of around two lengths uh, from the, the, mo the moment the, the tapes went up the lead has been at least two lengths for Lord of the North being given this soft lead up front and Lord of the North is happy to just dictate the tempo here and the pace from the front of the field the jockey's going to be confident about what he's what engine he's got underneath him on this one for sure so sizing blues still a couple of lengths behind this long time leader and stroll wigmore is now gone up to join its stable mate uh, in a share of second and third place at the moment as though only three quarters of a length splits those two and those two have started to close the gap slightly on lord of the north who's just ridden for a couple of strides into that fence to attack it but sizing blues and stroll wigmore breathing down its neck now as they come to the next flight of hurdles but Lord of the North seems nonplussed about that and is happy, happy enough with how it's travelling at the moment. Um, but the horses in second and third, Size and Blues and Stroll Wigmore travelling really strongly as well as they do come past the stands and they're about to embark on their final circuit here at Ludlow. And going over the mud track there, the camera pans back and shows that there's no more than 10 lengths from start to finish at the moment. Lord of the North still has that lead over Size and Blues, Stroll Wigmore. An ambulance there in the background could have could have been needed if Mighty Black had taken a tumble when it smacked the top of that hurdle. But the uh, the horse looks to be travelling okay again since that earlier mistake. And again, you saw Lord North got really close to that hurdle, but was able to still get over it really quickly. No problems there. It looks a really slick hurdle at Lord of the North. It has a couple of lengths advantage still over size in blues. Mercury Rising is one that's moved from being the back marker into a share of second place as they turn right-handed there. And we come towards the 8 furlong marker very shortly. It's Lord of the North that still has the lead. Of around a length and a half to Mercury Rising, Size in Blues, Stroll Wigmore. The back marker is still mighty black as they come over the next. 
better jump from Size and Blues than Mercury Rising, and it's Size and Blues that has jumped up to go and join Lord of the North at the front of the field, and the jockey just riding uh, riding along there and pushing Lord of the North along for a few strides, wants to stay at the very front of the field. Mercury Rising travelling well enough on the outside in third, Stroll Wigmore Mighty Black, the back two at the moment as they go over that next flight of hurdles, and Size and Blues is really putting this favourite under pressure up at the front of the field, and you'd have to say it's travelling stronger of the two of them at the moment but we know that Lord the North stays at this, this distance well so as they start a swing right handed it's size in blues passing Lord of the North now Stroll Wigmore making a move from the rear of the field better jump from Lord of the North than any there and uh, size in blues just nudged along for a few stri strides to try and maintain the lead Stroll Wigmore's moving up as well so the two James Shea runners are trying to spoil Lord of the North's party here and it's Stroll Wigmore that kicks on in the final four furlong Stroll Wigmore blasts out into a lead of five lengths plus now Lord of the North passes sizing blues and the jockey saying enough is enough and needs to try and close this gap as Stroll Wigmore bursts out into a lead and is extending it seven eight lengths plus Lord of the North is going to have to get going to try and close it down and it's sizing blues and Mercury Rising that are there trying to stay on Mighty Black looks well beaten already as we come to the two furlong marker Stroll Wigmore took off a bit too early but no serious mistake Lord of the North sizing blues trying to close but they've only got a furlong and a half to do it has Stroll Wigmore set off a home too soon or does it have enough in the tank to hold off all challenges here comes Lord of the North final furlong Stroll Wigmore has a lead of four or five lengths as they come over the last from Lord of the North who's trying his best to close the gap here into the final half of furlong Stroll Wigmore has the lead nothing's going to catch it Stroll Wigmore upsets the odds here and wins it for James Shea wins it easily in the end of around seven or eight lengths back to Lord of the North who for the fourth week in a row has to settle for second 2-2-2-2 two, 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 that form is going to read second is there for Joshua Sutherland's runner the short price favourite only second and I think a third for James Shea so a first and third for James Shea 6-1 to one winner there Stroll Wigmore Lord of the North the 13-8 favourite only second and James Shea, yep, yeah, it's third place for James Shea as well. So he's at the first and third home here in this three mile two furlong maiden here as we're waiting for the official final card to come up. Stroll Wigmore wins it, Lord of the North second, Size in Blues third, Mercury Rising fourth, and a long way back to find Mighty Black fifth for Graham Clutterbuck.